Good morning. <coughs> it's a good day for ducks, ain't it? Last couple of days, they're just so happy. <laughs> yeah, half I heard that. <laughs> All right, we do welcome you to our services this morning. Uh, trust you got a bulletin when you come in. Uh, I'm not going to go over each everything in detail in there, but there's some good readings in there, especially on the front there is as uh, of your bulletin there, a couple of. Uh, short uh, sayings, quotes, if you will, uh, both really, really good. Uh, so I encourage you to take time to look at those. Uh, as far as announcements, we got the uh, spring seniors retreat coming up. That's going to be in April. And we're thinking, well, April, boy, it's a long, well, no, it ain't, because it's coming up week. Before we come back to church again, it's going to be March. So time's flying. Uh, April the 24th through the 26th, and it's at the Courtyard in Pigeon Forge. And this year, the one fee that you pay covers lodging and everything. And that cost is $140 each, but if you sign up before the end of February, reason I said that too, you only got a couple, three more days, uh, you get a $20 discount per person. And there's the link uh, that you can, if interested, you can sign up for that, okay? Uh, ladies Bible study, will be meeting every Tuesday at 10 o'clock at the Family Life Center, uh, if you're interested in that. Uh, contact Miss Jean Arwood for more information. The men's Bible study, okay? There's a change from what it shows in your bulletin there, okay? The men's Bible study is going to meet this Tuesday, not Wednesday, but this Tuesday, same time, 5.30 p.m., but you're going to be meeting at Ingalls in Jonesboro, okay? Instead of Wednesday, it'll be Tuesday, same time, Ingalls in Jonesboro, okay? If you have any questions about that, you can contact Brother Larry there and he'll give you the detailed information about that, okay? Uh, let's see here. Church services will remain the same, except for tonight. This is the fourth Sunday of the month. Fourth Sunday of the month, we meet at 4 p.m., okay? So don't forget that, 4 o'clock this afternoon. Uh, there's a sign-up sheet there in the foyer for anyone uh, who's not yet signed up to help in the, in the Vacation Bible School. Uh, you can see there from the pictures below that, that volunteering is very fun and rewarding. Looks like they've got some good eating there. So, you know, I, I can't turn food down. So there you go. Uh, also, anyone that volunteered to be teachers and you put your names on the sign-up sheet already, if you could meet with the ladies that's over the Vacation Bible School over here on the Oregon side just immediately right after the service this morning, okay? So if you've already signed up to volunteer for teaching, put your name on the sign-up sheet, go ahead and meet on this side over here for just a short period of time after this morning's service, okay? Uh, after this morning's service, immediately following, we'll be going over to, uh, there be uh, an event taking place over in the Family Life Center. We encourage everyone to go. What it's for is, is for the youth that's participating in the E-Team, Truth and Peace, and CMP, okay? Uh, they're over there, they're going to be, uh, I know they're, if you ask them questions, they're going to be eager to share uh, what they are looking, uh, the reason why they want to go on this trip, what they're expecting, and what they're going to do there, okay? So uh, that'd be a great encouragement. Also, if you participate in that, uh, you can either go and eat immediately following the service, or they have to-go boxes available if you'd like to do that, okay? Uh, at the end of that service there, or, and dur during that, we'll, uh, we'll be receiving a love offering for them for all three young adults that uh, will be divided between them, and this is to help, to help sponsor them for these trips, okay? Uh, with that in mind, if you go all the way over to the, I'll say the back side when, you're, when you pick the bulletin up, at the bottom there is a detailed information about each one of those trips and each one of those young adults that'll be going on those trips, okay? Uh, a change in contact information there at the bottom middle when you open it up is for Brother Keith. Uh, that was in there last week. Uh, his cell phone has changed there and, and email, so uh, there's his contact information there, uh, uh, him being a trustee here at the church. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Anyone planning to attend Grief Share, uh, you can contact Miss Kathy Kiker, and her phone number is there uh, inside the bulletin as well. Okay, any other announcements or maybe one that I might have missed? I've tried to circle and make asterisks. I've wrote all over my paper to try to make sure I got most of them covered there, so. All right, uh, any birthdays in the past week? All right, and I'm putting in for Miss Carolyn Bowers.
where you have your email, do you? It's fine. I just, uh, sometimes the Lord puts it on you. I knew before I left the house this morning I was going to say something. And I told my wife to pray for me that I didn't let out one of those sailor slips from back when I was in the Navy. But I, this birthday is my 60th birthday. And uh, 60 hits you a little bit harder than the rest of them. So with me it has. Back in uh, 2006, I had my heart attack. And uh, I checked out for 15 minutes without a heart beat. And the uh, Lord was with me. Amen. I've been a sinner my whole life. And I'll be a sinner from this day on until I die. And I've talked to people that these times that we're living through right now, if you say you believe in the Lord, you need to be talking about it. You know, I, it's a simple question you can ask somebody. If you ask them if they believe in the Lord and they say, yeah, ask them last time they told somebody about it. He wants us out there speaking for him. And I, <clears throat> I've been blessed with a wonderful family, a good second family. You know, I, the Lord answers my prayers every day. Sometimes there's some that he doesn't answer, but there's a reason why he does that. But I remember that when I had my heart attack, my son, he was 13. And I can picture him sitting there wondering if he's going to have a dad that next day. But uh, the Lord let me get through that. And I remember I told him, if he just give me another 20 years, I... I'd be more than thankful. And that 20 years come around. I believe it, maybe it's 10 years, whatever it was, but it come around. And I was asking him for another prayer because I didn't want to die after that little bit of time. But, but and I just want to thank the Lord for, for letting me live this life and, and to be with my family. Amen. 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 God's good to all of us. Amen. Amen. All right. Uh, got a couple of anniversaries we'd like to recognize this morning also. Uh, Stoney and Judy Robinson, March the 1st, 44 years. <laughs> Snide and Pam Hensley on March the 4th, celebrating 17 years. All right. Got a card we'd like to read this morning. It says, in, in your own unique way, you raise kindness to an art. Thanks for being so thoughtful. Thank you for making Joanne's passing just as she wished. May God bless you always, Elvin Sullivan. At this time, I'll turn it over to Pastor Tim. Good morning. Good morning. If you're a guest with us, we're glad that you have chosen to be here. And I'm looking across the room here, and I'm seeing some, and we're very grateful that you have chosen to be here. We're excited about being here today, amen? Uh, I'm excited at what the Lord's going to do for us and what, he's going to do, what, he's ha what he has been doing for us. Uh, let's do continue praying for just uh, some of the things that we have taken place today. Uh, as you all have heard, uh, Sister Madge Crane passed away uh, this, this weekend. Uh, they went yesterday and made arrangements. The funeral service will be Wednesday uh, following the visitation. So visitation is Wednesday here at the church. From 4 to 7, from 4 to 7 this Wednesday here at the church, and then the funeral will follow around 7. Uh, now, if there's more people coming in, uh, receiving friends, you know, then that funeral, then the funeral will be pushed back. But uh, the funeral service will follow the receiving of friends on this coming Wednesday. With that being said, of course, we will not have our church services or any activities, but the funeral that will be here, okay? Uh, Sister Madge uh, uh, was uh, just, a, just a wonderful example uh, for us. Uh, she was very faithful. Uh, she was very faithful to the Lord, first and foremost. She was faithful to Harvey, uh, her, her daughter, her grandchildren, uh, her church and her community. And uh, she taught us all how to be friends, didn't she? And uh, so let's do remember Joy, uh, her, grand, her, her children and their great-grandchildren. Let's do continue praying for them. Uh, as, as things come down the line over the next little bit, uh, you know, about an other announcements and things, we'll announce those. But right now, Wednesday from 4 to 7, 
funeral to follow at 7. So here at the church, so let's do remember that. Uh, let's do continue praying for just the many other. I know Brother C.L. would love to be here, but he's not able to be here today. Uh, so let's do remember him. I know that there's several others that would love to be here. Uh, as I look across, that's not been able to be in the... Uh, to, been in the church for a while, uh, but I also look back there on the back bench and I see Sister Barbara Shanks. Uh, a while back, Sister Barbara took a fall, and a pretty bad fall, And uh, uh, but this is the first Sunday she's been able to come back, uh, her, her and Johnny and Jackie, uh, so we want to be thankful for them uh, and, and, and grateful that we're able to see them again in the house of the Lord. Aren't you, church? Amen. And I, I look across and I, I see... Uh, Brother Archie Jones back there, uh, you can set it, I, I, I'm going to start calling him Timex. Every Sunday morning, you can hear late, you can set your watch to him. And uh, uh, Brother Archie, I, I'm, I'm, I'm thankful for you, buddy. And just the many others that may not feel very well, uh, but just, uh, just here today, and uh, I, I'm grateful for that. Aren't you? Uh, God's done something for us. You know, if he wouldn't have done for, nothing for us, uh, we wouldn't want to come to his house, would we? Uh, but I see Sister Faye Morrow smile back there. Boy, I tell you what, uh, if, that, if that Sister Faye Morrow smile don't do something to your heart, I'm not sure if you have one. And uh, it just, 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 something, just something good about it. Just, and, and that's what we have here at this church. And I'm grateful for that. I truly, truly am. Uh, let's do remember uh, just one more prayer request. Let's do remember... Uh, Miss, Miss Lila Hux's sister passed away. Miss Charmy passed away. And uh, they have the, the, uh, the, uh, the announcements for that. I believe maybe the visitation's tomorrow or Tuesday. Uh, we'll get that across and send that out to you so we'll be aware of that. I, I, I know we have many unspoken at the lifted hand. Amen. Amen. You know, we're having pre-spring showers. Uh, but it's awful dry in here, and I'm grateful for that, aren't you? Let's pray. Father, I love you today. I thank you for being a God that never changes and a God that never wavers on, 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 on everything, Lord, that you have, have said in your word. Lord, it's true. Whether we believe it or not, Lord, it's true. And Lord, that settles it right there. Lord, we ask today, Lord, you give strength for our choir. Lord, as they sing for us today, Lord, may they sing for your glory. And Lord, may they not to be seen or not to be heard, but Lord, may they praise you in spirit and in truth. Lord, for the ones that's gathered here today, Lord, I ask today, Lord, you allow us, Lord, as, as parents and, and, and grandparents and, 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 and mentors, Lord, to teach and train our children how to worship in this service. Lord, you know these many requests. Lord, I know many hearts are broken this week, Lord, with the passing of Sister Madge Crane and Miss Charmy. And Lord, I ask today, Lord, you just guide and direct, Lord, those families. Brother C.L. would love to be here today, Lord, but just can't be here, and just many others. And Lord, may I lift them up to you here today. Lord, I praise you, and Lord, I thank you. You know the many hands, Lord, that was lifted. And Lord, you know what those hands represent. Lord, you know the trials, Lord, the heartaches the uncertainty, and Lord, may you just answer those, Lord, the way that you see fit. Lord, I love you, and Lord, I thank you for all your goodness, Lord, that you do. In Jesus' name, amen. Today is the fourth Sunday, or the last Sunday of the month. Uh, the last Sunday of the month, we do not have children's church. We have family worship. And at this time, we will have our children come sing for us, and then they will but remain in the sanctuary. So church, let's, let's teach and train our children how to worship today, amen?
Good morning. morning. If y'all would please stand. We'll lift our voice this morning. We'll start out singing Prepare Our Hearts this morning. Turn to number 267. We'll sing Wonderful Grace of Jesus this morning.
you may be seated. <clears throat> 